Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source, return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and, and ask that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. See what in the name of source is going on out here. Uh, so, you know, we have a group of people or someone that may have invested in causing you some type of ending. Some, I don't know what the heck this is. And it's so irking. Because I'm like, why are people this invested in ending someone? You have a lot of people that have gotten together to invest in causing you some type of heartache or disappointment. These people wake up every day to send you energy that is just not energy in on your side because it's not making it to you. They've tried to pay people to have you reject that put out of a home and this keeps coming up and i'm trying to understand why this keeps coming up because it's like these people do something they, they try to get something done and it backfires and then they come up with something else it backfires they come up with something else and it backfires and they're very angry behind the scenes these are people doing like they're getting really desperate behind the scenes they want a reaction out of you if you saw some of these people that are doing this stuff you will be embarrassed for them Someone wants you to know that it's them that's doing something, but you don't give two hits. You don't care. It's like, yeah, I know it's you, so what? Like someone, someone, their mental, someone's mental is not what it's supposed to be, especially for their age. Like, like you have like a bunch of men, childs, or women that just never mature the right way. And they're all in this low vibrational energy trying to cause someone endings it's like everything you invest in, they don't want you to get anything out of it. But they already know that's not what's going to happen. It's a group that already know they lost a battle. They've been defeated by an earth angel or an empress energy. But they're still desperate to keep this cycle going. The cycle is over. People like this live in denial. Like they don't know when to accept the truth for what it is. Like they rather keep living under some type of delusion. There's a woman in here that may be going within about a situation because she maybe knows it's not going in her favor. Someone is going to have to seek legal counseling to bring balance into a situation because she may have done something to steal uh, someone's inheritance, someone's work, something like that. This woman was working with an emperor behind the scenes and it didn't work out. These people are fighting behind the scenes and I don't know why they're still focused on you. It's like they have bigger fish to fry, but here it is. They're worrying about little old you. There's a group that was working together to block two people from coming together. It's not working. Like you all, these soul twin contracts are still going to come together. There's nothing that these people can do to stop them. Okay. And some of you, your soul twin, you're not even really meant to be together this, together this lifetime. You were just supposed to in, encounter your soul twin so it could, you know, uh, initiate their awakening. A lot of the times... That's why you and your soul twin will meet. You'll connect on a spiritual level. They know who you are. You know who they are. But you're not supposed to really be together in this lifetime. You're just meant to cause an awakening for either one, one of the parties or you two cause an awakening in each other. Okay? So I don't know why this group is so bothered um, by two people coming together. Okay? They're trying to cause an ending to someone before you two can come together. It's like... They'd rather you be out of here before they see you and someone together, right? They don't want you two having a victory, but this is exactly what's up ahead of you. You two are going to have a victory, okay? And there's a crazy woman in here that's saying that she'd rather pass away, rather be gone than to sit and see two people come together after she's done so much to, so much to prevent the two of them from coming together. They're, they're still coming together, honey. They're still coming together. There's a community. You all need to look into the well-being of a feminine energy because it's not where it's supposed to be. If you all care about each other, you know you all have been committed in blocking these earth angels from coming together. If you care about each other, like you said, you may want to check on the feminine energy because she ain't doing too well. Someone is contemplating doing the aside. 
because she's so broken and bitter within herself. You all need to check on her. Someone is not doing well. I'm telling you, someone is not doing well. She needs help. She needs help. So since you all say your family, right? Your family, you may want to check on her because she's not doing too well. This could be like a false empress. She, this is the energy she pr presents herself in. She's not doing too well. She is not doing too well. You all need to check on her. I'm telling you, this woman is not doing too well. Someone is stuck in her mind. Like she said, I'd rather, I'd rather be out of here than to see these two come together. This could be someone's ex-wife. This could be someone's mother. Or this woman could just be showing up as an empress because she has a child or her age. But someone is very immature at the core. Very low vibration or very bitter, insecure. That is not the vibration of an, in, of a, uh, an empress. Okay? This woman wants to bring you issues. You can't. This, the, whoever the collective is, this is your future. Justice. Victory. Someone brought themselves legal issues thinking they were bringing you legal issues. You have a group. I'm telling you. You don't have any legal issues coming in. She does. They went and did something in the court system trying to cause you some type of ending. And all it did was expose the truth. All it did was expose the truth. All it did was expose the truth. Now they have to figure out how they're going to get out of this fender bender. How do we close Pandora's box back up since we've opened it? Well, honey... You opened the box, everything came out, ain't nothing left in there. So what you closing it for? What you think when you close it, it's all going to come back? In, it's not coming back. It's already out in the world. That's like saying, how do we get Adam and Eve to uneat the fruit? Huh? What? So whatever you all did, it's already done. Everyone is going to be held accountable. Okay? Everyone is going to be held accountable. It's a lot of bitter people behind the scenes. And these are people that are too old to be acting this way. Yeah, they should know better. They should know better. But when people choose not to listen to their intuitions, this is when we end up in this. I'm telling you, they choose not to listen to their intuitions. That's when we end up in these, in these predicaments. Someone should have listened to their intuition so that they wouldn't have anything to do with this, whatever this is, this low vibrational activity. Okay, someone's intuition, collective, you are being told you are right on the mark. You hit the, the, the target. When it comes to trying to figure out what's going on behind the scenes, you know exactly what's going on. Like your intuition is sharp. You are clear. Okay, you are clear. Your intuition is sharp. You know the truth. Everything is being illuminated to you. Okay. You have someone that has been taking actions against you behind the scenes. And now that things are not going in their favor, he may want to come into your energy to give you some type of offer or some type of apology. And you're like, keep your distance from me. I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing to do with this. Okay. He thinks you don't know what it is he participated in, but you know, all of the times these people are doing rituals and things like that, you know, you know. So someone thinks that you don't know what they've been doing behind the scenes. You may not know the truth, you know. Your intuition is telling you everything. Yeah, they most definitely want to communicate with you. They want to communicate with you. You know why they want to communicate with you? Because someone is in a fender bender. Someone put them... I'm telling you. I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. They want to communicate with you because they're, they're stuck in something. Someone is being watched. Oh, every move they make is being monitored. Someone got themselves stuck in some type of... A, a situation that you have never been a part of. Some type of situation that you have never been a part of. Okay. Oh, a king of pentacles. Oh, yeah. He's trapped in there. He's trapped. Someone maybe started some type of... Oh, I was going to say started an affair and then the queen of wands comes up. Someone started some type of affair at work. And it got him caught up with a group of people he has no business being caught up with. The affair could have been exposed. And now... Uh, maybe he needs help. What does that got to do with you? What does, yeah, what does that got to do with you? He thinks you can help him bring justice or balance into the situation. What does that have to do with you? What does that got to do with the price of tea in China? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
What does him being stuck in a situation he voluntarily put himself in has to do with the price of tea in China? Nothing. Someone was told not to participate in something, remove himself from the situation. He was advised, hey, you need to leave these toxic people behind. This could be friends of his, families of his, whatever this is. He was guided to remove himself from this situation, separate himself. What did he do? Oh, no, 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 no. He went and got in a relationship. I'm telling you, he got in a relationship. He worked with these people. <coughs> he worked with these people. <coughs> Excuse me. He came together, maybe invested in some type of business with them. And he thought the business was going to be successful. Excuse me. Let me drink some water. Someone don't want this message out. I'm choking. Yeah. He thought it was going to be successful. That's part of the reason why we have this seven of pentacles out here. He invested his time, money, and energy into these people. All it led to was heartbreak and disappointment. Now he's left out in the cold by these people, right? So now he wants to tell you the truth, confess to you, ask for your forgiveness. Baby, this thing, this don't got nothing to do with you, collective. This don't got nothing to do with you. You made your bed, now lay in it. Now he knows that you two are soul twins. Oh, this is what he want to come in and tell you. <laughs> I found out that, that we are soul twins. Oh, yeah, he wants to go for it. He wants to come into your energy and tell you something you don't care about. He wants to come and confess tell you the truth oh you know uh, 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 uh. come on oh yeah he listen this man wants to talk to you this man could be sending you messages but you got him blocked or you're not receiving messages something like that or you change your numbers or something like that but someone wants to communicate with you you see that right there he wants to communicate with you collective <clears throat> and you're like this i got nothing to do with me <coughs> again Someone don't want this message out. <coughs> That's funny as heck. I'm going to have to go make my tea. <laughs> Just for the heck of it. Oh, yeah. Someone does not want the message out. The truth is out. Everything these people have been investing in, the truth is out. <clears throat> Everything. People are losing their stability and resources. This institution here is going through a hard time. Yeah, they're going, everybody's going through a hard time. This is what they were planning for you. But they're going through betrayals. These people could be betraying each other now because the truth is out. There could be some type of investigation going on. Meanwhile, you're out here doing your own thing. Being guided by the universe. Oh, you're on your own thing and headed to victory. Some of you are about to be traveling to different places. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does that got to do with you, honey? Oh, yeah. He wants to come in. Yeah, I'm telling you. <clears throat> Excuse me. He wants to come in. Now he's passionate about you. That he knows who you are. He sees your wish fulfillment now. Oh, the karma don't took all his money. The, the, the community don't took all his money. Now he knows who you are. That I invested. I thought the business was going to be successful. Oh, yeah. This is someone that invests in different businesses, I think. This is like an entrepreneur. They like to, you know, that money that makes itself while you're sleeping. I think this is, this is the speech that they gave him. The whole time, they were trying to steal his comfort. Someone was very independent before he got with this company. This used to be him. Able to buy himself whatever, do whatever, indulge in whatever. Now, oh, it's looking, it's looking interesting. Yeah, this was all planned. It was all planned. It was all planned. This man didn't know they put this woman in front of him the whole time. He, he thought he was surrounded by friends the whole time, surrounded by wolves. He's moving on. Lord have mercy. Moving on. He is moving. Yeah, he's moving on away from, from the family. I guess they're not family anymore. They're not family anymore. Oh, baby, I tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. He's ending the chapter. He said, I'm done with these people. I'm done. I'm done. And he's taking action to move on. Yeah, he wants to meet. <laughs> you see how the enemy works? 
People can go from rejecting you to needing you. Someone is stuck in something and only you can help, but you're not there to help. Oh, baby, it's a hard knock life. Yeah, it's a hard knock life. He needs help. And the one person that can help him, he rejected. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh huh. Trying to sneak away. Where are you sneaking off to, sir? Where are you sneaking off to? Trying to sneak away. I hope not to the collective. They ain't looking for you. That collective is going to shut their door in your face. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. You made your decision. When you told, oh, look at that. She came out. <laughs> He's trying to get away from this crazy girl, this crazy woman. After he done probably betrayed you with that three of swords above her, he betrayed you for this woman. He betrayed you. Oh, baby. And she did a number on him. She did a number on him. It was all planned the whole time. The whole time? The whole time. They are all going through a tower. Him included. Oh, yeah. They were causing this man an illusion. He didn't even know. He thought he was surrounded by friends. He thought he had found his soulmate. He thought he had found himself an empress. Turns out she was nothing but a common thief. You know? And then you got a queen of swords in there that does the manipulation. She teaches them what to say, what to do, how to do it. You know, how to play with people's mental to manipulate them into giving away their energy, giving away their money and things like that. And he fell right into that trap. Someone probably saw you and thought you were naive because they met you. What? Mm. In this energy here, darling. That's the energy they met you in. They said, oh, that's a naive person. I can't partner up with them. They're not a business person. So they went for the Queen of Wands. Only to find out the Queen of Wands ain't nothing but trouble. Nothing but a liar. Nothing but a karmic. So now that she don't took all his money or got him to lose all his money investing in something that was never going to turn into anything fruitful. Because the business they all got involved to involved with was never meant to be fruitful. They were basically just coming out, coming up with a way to get a hold of his money. And he gave it to them. They were celebrating behind the scenes, high-fiving each other, laughing at him. He thought they were laughing with him, but they were laughing at him. That was his karma for rejecting you. Causing illusions and things like that. Okay? This was you the whole time you were around this masculine. But because he was not healed, had not done the work to heal, he didn't see you for who you were. Oh, yeah. He said you need to stay away from He was keeping his distance. He didn't tell you to stay away. But mentally, spiritually, that's what he was doing when he rejected you. Told you to stay away. Because he thought you were the problem because a group of people told someone that you were the problem. Yeah, but the whole time... Oh, you were his wish come through. You were the answer to his prayer. The business partner he needed, the friend he needed, a friend in need is a friend in need. Okay? He found out the hard way, baby. Sometimes you got to let people find it out. This is going to be his destiny if he will have partnered up with you. But what did he do? He went with Jesse Bell. Oh, yeah. And what happens when you go to Jesse Bell? Eventually, this is what happens, and that's what he's going through. You can't help this masculine. This is the act of God. God took matters into its own, own hand and did this man a number. They humble him. God is humbling this person. Everybody in this group is going through some type of ending. They may not be talking about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, everybody... It's going through an ending. I will tell you a joke on this channel, but I will not tell you a lie. If I tell you something that I uh, make a mistake about, I will always come back and correct myself. But honey, I will tell you a joke, but I will not tell you a lie on purpose. Ever. If I tell you something that's not true, that means that I'm, it was a mistake on my end, and I'll come back here and correct it when I catch on to it. But yes, this group is going through an ending. Oh, baby, and it's expensive. A expensive ending. And while this cycle, honey, the whole group, why it's over, they're still trying to cause you distress. They say, yeah, our life is in havoc and you're over there happy. What are you happy about? We don't want you to be happy. We need to temper with them so they can stop being happy. Coming on here and laughing. Like for me, right? I try to add a little bit of humor to my, my uh, content. Haters that are watching, they have a problem with that. So I'm going to come on here and add more humor because I know it's bothering you. Okay. 
There are people in here that want you to know that they are the ones that were behind everything that's been happening to you. You don't care. He's like, I already know. And what's that supposed to do? What's this supposed to do? Oh, okay. Figure that out and let us know. The whole family is toxic. The whole family is karmic. The whole family is karmic. They're all trapped. They did something and they got them trapped in something they cannot get out of. It's like the last move was the worst move. So then there are legalities coming in. Oh, yeah, honey, the last move was the worst move. Someone paid for something to be done and it backfired. Someone paid for something to be done and it backfired horribly. They may have been trying to pay for someone to steal your money, steal your joy, steal your happiness, your fulfillment, steal your innocence. And it backfired like everything else has backfired time and time again. And it's going to keep backfiring always. Okay, it's always going to keep backfiring. It's going to keep backfiring. There's a queen of wands losing it behind the scenes. This woman is all over the place, all over the place. Oh, yeah, all over the place with her emotions. All over the place. Dang. She's being rejected by this masculine. Oh, Lord. Trying to hold on to a man. For security. He changed his mind. All this was was just lust. Not love. He chose her before. Now he's changing his mind. I don't want the karmic anymore. I want to go to my divine feminine. Well, I hope you have another divine feminine somewhere. Because the collective ain't looking for you. Someone is emotionally unavailable. Emotionally manipulative. They're out here embarrassed. Because people see the truth about them. He's going through an ending. Maybe homeless, or this is what's up ahead of him. This man is in poverty. This is karma he never imagined. Someone started trying to take you down, destroy you, and never thought it would turn out this way. They never thought in a million years it would turn out this way, that they would lose everything, uh-huh, and you will be elevated in life. Now he realizes that he made the wrong decision. I should have stayed with my divine feminine. I should have stayed with the empress that was looking out for me. Genuine as can be. Or oh, someone's out here telling people the truth now about what he really did to you, who you are. The lies ain't lying no more because people are fed up. Things are not adding up. So they want the truth. Someone is having some type of glitch in the system. They're starting to tell the truth involuntarily. And people are just looking at them like, like a clown. Someone is embarrassed out here. We're very embarrassed. And because they're embarrassed and temperamental, you know, it's a little boy that lives in that body that he refuses to heal. So he's just a hot mess all over the place. Uh-huh. Yeah. He is going through it. Someone is embarrassed. Because they told everybody that you were worthless. You were codependent. You are all this and all that. And he possibly, he went and got married for money or someone married him for money. It's not love though, because there's nothing good surrounded by these two. Let me tell you all the cards surrounding these two. This uh, 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 queen of wands that stole and this king of cups that's in poverty. They have the three of swords. They have the five of pentacles, the lovers in reverse and the seven of swords around them. That should let you know what kind of energy is going on behind the scenes. And this is their future. They're in a stalemate. Can't move forward. She wants to hold on to him. He wants to leave because they're in poverty. He's tired. He can't come back to you. I'm telling you, he can't come back to you because he was trying to defeat you. But you've defeated him through the grace of the most high. Your ancestors, they got together and whooped that ASS. They whooped that ASS. He thought he was going to take action or whoever this is. Someone thought they were going to take some type of impulsive action and come in and call and do you something. And your ancestors were just sitting back watching them. He said, I'm waiting. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Someone, it's either someone or a group of people are having some type of supernatural experience behind the scenes. And they don't know what to make of it. They said, this, this don't add up. Every time we go to do this person something... 
something happens to us. We lose something. Someone gets sick. Someone gets unemployed. Someone gets cut. Someone gets arrested. And then they keep going. They keep going. Their lives are falling apart, but they're going to keep going trying to destroy you because you know that's how karmics are built. That's how, that's how karmics are built. Uh-huh. You have someone that's defending you behind the scenes now because he knows the truth. Or I guess someone went through some type of awakening. Or maybe, yeah, he knows the truth now. He went through some type of awakening. Honey, please. Good for him. This is all done so two people don't come together. Two people don't invest in each other. Someone don't left a high, pri a high priestess or empress energy when they invested in nothing but heartbreaks and disappointments. He said, I'm on top of the world. And then he found out, oh, and he went flopping right down to the floor, to the ground. I guess he wasn't on top of the world as he thought. And whoever he betrayed is about to be having a fresh start somewhere else. And he's going to get to watch this person move on. Because you know the universe is petty too. The universe is since you got to sit back and watch and help people try to destroy this person. And you got to see it firsthand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The divine person gets to sit back and watch you all crumble down. Some of these people are going to be on the news. Oh, yeah, on the news. They are under investigation, being asked a lot of questions. Someone is pissed up at the whole group behind the scenes because the truth is out and they didn't know what was going on. Oh, they feel betrayed. They feel betrayed. They thought they could trust these people. They thought they could trust these people. You no, know, they, they, they trusted the wrong person. They trusted the wrong person. It's, it's interesting that, oh, I'm telling you, investigation, investigation. Oh, it's an investigation going on. Absolutely. This could be like an internal investigation. They don't know what's going on or it's out in the open now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone may want to meet with you and ask you questions now and say, hey, I just wanted to get clarity on this situation because things are Things are just going crazy back there. And it's like, what do that got to do with me? Uh, it's going crazy because it's meant to. They're going through karma. They're going through karma. That's what it is. I find it interesting that my camera is forward facing now. I don't have a problem with the camera cutting out. Ain't that something? Mm. Okay, well, we're going to be quiet. Source, thank you. Anyways, uh, this is your future collective. Stepping out here on faith, bold with it, supported by the universe, okay? New beginnings, new friends, manifesting new realities, new abundance for yourself. Man, okay. Why your enemies are going through interrogations? You got someone out here talking about, I don't know anything else. I, t I promise you. That's all I know. No, 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 no. You, you need to start back over from A and go back to Z. Go down to Z. Someone knows more. Okay. There's a queen of source in here. That's the educator for all of these people when it comes to being, when it comes to teaching people how to be karmic. And this is someone in a community that acts as she's a pillar of the community. She acts like she's in the upright. This woman is not in the upright. This is someone greedy as can be. All she cares about is money, right? Greedy as can be. Greedy. Absolutely greedy. You got these people trying to hold on to your, your, your finances, your money and things like that, trying to keep you stuck, buying it. And they were celebrating before. You know how the karmics do. They're always celebrating. No one knows why they're celebrating. These people, you ever notice something about karmic people? They're always smiling when things are horrible. It said it can be a nightmare around them. And they'll be there laughing. You see, uh, what's the girl, the, the uh, 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 girlfriend for the Joker? Holly something? She's always smiling, even when she's doing something really malicious, right? Karmics. That's the vibe they give me. But then when something is going on with them, oh, they don't want to see. They don't want to see no one smiling. They said, what you smiling for? This is them. The mood change. What you smiling for? 
oh, well, I can be happy, right? You and I are not the same. We're not stuck together. We don't have the same emotions. You were happy yesterday. I'm happy today. Oh, no. If they're not happy, they don't want anyone to be happy. They don't want anyone to be happy. And that's the God's honest truth. The rest of us, if you're happy, we support your happiness. Even if we're having a rough day, we're glad you're happy, right? You deserve to be happy. So it don't bother us. But them, if they're having a bad day, oh, they want you to be quiet. They want you to hide. They want to hide themselves. They want you to go in hiding too. Someone has a whole lot on their mind. Is that, oh, <laughs> oh, baby. These people are crazy. It is just, this is like a full-time job. They got to be being paid for this. Because that's the only way I'm getting involved in something like this if I was low vibrational. That's the only way I'm getting involved in something like this if I was low vibrational. You pay me? Okay, then we can talk. If you're not paying me, we don't got nothing to talk about. So they got to be getting paid real good. Like this is like an amount of money that's going to retire them all. Like they don't ever have to work again in their lives. Possibly. That would be my criteria. Oh, you want me to do this to this person if I was karmic? Oh, yeah. I'm going to need a million dollars. Oh, you don't got a million to give me? All uh, right, we can't be talking. I'm expensive. I'm an expensive karmic. Okay? You got someone helping you behind the scenes. There's someone that's doing some type of flip. He don't went from trying to cause you mayhem and stuff like that. Now he wants to support you, uh, 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 come in and tell you how this is going on, how he's changed. This person ain't changed. He's still in the reverse out here. But he wants people to think that he is the one in the upright. Someone basically flipped with you. They said that you're them and they're you. Someone don't got a lick of gifts, nothing. If there was anyone in here gifted, all of their gifts have been stripped. They will never have access again to it again or to them again in this lifetime. If there was a high priestess in here, gifts are taken away, deactivated, deactivated, deactivated. All of them. It's expensive coming after you. That's why if you're a karmic, you need to be expensive. When people ask you to do something, you need to be an expensive karmic. Tell them I need at least a million. Because at least I can retire. If something goes haywire, at least I got money in the bank in the bank for my children, for my family. I can put money on my books or something. These people are out here doing stupid stuff for fifty thousand, forty thousand, ten thousand. You kidding me? Uh uh. Nah uh uh uh. I need more than that, Sonny. I need more than that. Cause when we're in this fender bender in jail, someone's trying to do me something. You're not gonna be there to bail me out, to protect me. Nothing. As a matter of fact, you're not even supposed to get involved in jail, right? They say you don't see nothing, you don't hear nothing, you're not, it don't got nothing to do with you. They tell you mind your business, right? You see them beating someone up, they say you're supposed to step over them because if you get involved, then you got problems. It, it's not like the regular world where you can stand up the bullies and stuff in there. If someone is bullying someone, oh yeah, okay. So now you got people advocating for you behind the scenes after they're, they've gotten done trying to destroy you, trying to move on and things like that. These last couple of messages have just been too serious for me. Hopefully we'll get a little fun one. But there's something serious going on behind the scenes with these people. Their moves is not where it usually is. They're, they're, they're not happy about something. They're not happy. They are not happy that you're happy. They said, why is this person still happy? They're not happy. They are not happy. So they want to come in and cause you problems because you're too happy. They don't want, someone hates to hear you laugh. Someone hates to see you smiling. Someone hates to hear that you are happy. I'm telling you, they hate it. They are not happy with the actions you're taking to bring balance into your life. Someone took some type of action to defeat you and it led to their own defeat. Okay. There's someone in here that's working behind the scenes. You could have like a hidden helper and you don't know it. It's a lot of characters in here. 
they don't know who this person is, but someone is bringing justice in your life, balance in your life, helping you get, get that victory that is yours. These people, baby, I don't know. This is a, this is, this gotta be a special kind of stupid. It's gotta be a special kind of stupid. Just throw your life away all because you don't want to see someone thrive. Just throw your life away. How? Why? Just giving your power away. Because that's what these people have done. They've given you all their powers. Is that you can have it and the collective is like, no, we don't need all that dark energy over here. Keep it. Keep it. Collective is like, uh -huh, no, uh -uh, I don't want it. No, 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 no. You can keep it. You can keep it. You can keep it. You can keep it. We're good. We're good. You can keep it. Mm. There's someone that's upset that whatever belongs to you is protected. Your work is protected. Your, your abundance is protected. Inheritance is, is protected. Everything that's yours is protected. It's protected. Oh, yeah, honey. It's protected. You see here? This is why it's protected because this is you. And someone is upset because you're still staying in that energy. Yeah, listen here. You all know how I do my first and last car. Oh, yeah, honey. Your investments are protected and they're flourishing. They're going to flourish as well. They're going to keep flourishing. Whatever you've been investing in. Oh, yeah, honey. Uh-huh. Wish come through. Your investments are flourishing. You're getting that good return. Return on investments. Okay? Oh, and that's what they don't like because they've been trying really hard to block it. Really hard. Someone may need your help to heal. Maybe that's why they want to meet with you. I just picked that up. Someone may, may need your help to heal. Like they want to ask you questions and things like that. Mm -mm. That don't got nothing to do with you. At all. That has nothing to do with you. You know those little friends they were going up against you with? Ask one of them. Oh, wait. They don't have healing capabilities. They're not able to heal people. They only know how to bring destruction in people's lives. Someone, someone's ex, I, I don't know who this man is. This man is bitter as heck, unhinged. Someone is looking for you as, as well. With this seven of swords out here, honey, this person is looking for you just to destroy you. He's desperate to be in your energy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Desperate to be around you. But he's being blocked. Oh, yeah, banished out. He's being blocked. Okay. Zero. Three zeros. It says you are one with a creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. I am a creator. Okay. And then banished doubts. That's beautiful. Hopefully they use that as a, a, a thumbnail for me. <laughs> it said, banish doubt. Don't let doubt define you. Action dispels your fear. Trust in your abilities. Okay. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next reading and goodbye for now.